I don't know about you guys, but I am ready for summer. And as a Canadian who lives in Ontario, trust me, we wait a long time for summer. <laughs> and with summer means patio season. I love patio season. And we can't really go to patios as of yet where I live. So I am getting excited to get my patio ready for summer. And I feel like some of you guys might be as well. Today, I'm gonna go into some of my top picks for your at-home patio. Hi guys, it's Anya from Interior Design Hub, and today we are going over patio furniture. Furniture, accessories, how to make the most out of your patio. And I am super excited because I have some dreams of my own for my patio. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of my top picks for this season's patio weather. So when you're designing your outdoor space, you really wanna think about a few little tips and tricks before I dive into some items that I really like. So some of the things to consider are that you still wanna think about your layering. Just like we talk about for interior spaces, you wanna think about everything from textiles, to furniture, to lighting, to accessories within your exterior space as well. And that's what's really gonna give you that leveled up, designed, and super fun space that you're gonna really wanna spend a lot of time in. So one of the fun things about your outdoor space is that you can really be, I would say, almost more adventurous or a little bit more bold when you're going for your outdoor space. So this is where you can really add in some of those really vibrant colors that perhaps on the inside you wouldn't be as comfortable doing, but it's a great place to do it is in your outside space. When you're designing for your outdoor patio space, you also really wanna think about planters. And it's funny because you're outside, so you may have more more plants and, and natural foliage around you, but adding in some of those tiered planters and adding that in will still give a lot of depth to the space and it really just helps make it feel more cohesive. So just like we talk about inside with adding in plants and natural materials, bring that to your outside and still have some potted plants and natural materials. And what's nice is this is where you can do your annuals that you, you know, you only plant them for the season and they live in a pot and they look beautiful and you can bring them in if the weather kind of changes, which does happen here in Canada quite often. Like today is kind of cold, but tomorrow's gonna be almost 40. So, I mean, it's bizarre. We can fluctuate over 20, 30 degrees. So sometimes it's nice to have those potted plants because uh, we need to be able to save them. <laughs> So a few things before I dive into these pieces that I'm picking is you really want to consider for your outdoor furniture is how durable is it? So this does depend greatly on where you live and what the weather is like. But for us here in Canada, we do tend to get a lot of different weather. Like one day it could be snowing and the next day it could be 30 degrees. So you kind of have to plan for everything around here. So I always try to make sure that I look into what type of protectant is on the furniture. So you know, does it have some kind of scotch guard? I don't know if that's what they call it anymore, but basically it will say if it's got a weather protectant on it. And you wanna see how resistant it is to rain, to staining, how easy it is to clean. So all of those things are things you just wanna check to make sure that, you know, your investment in those outdoor pieces are gonna at least last you for a several years. And one of my biggest tips is invest in a cover. Sometimes when you buy a piece, it doesn't have a cover that comes with it. So that's something that you may need to look into is to actually buy a cover for whatever piece that you're purchasing outside. So now to the fun stuff. What do I wanna buy? I mean, what do you wanna buy? I mean, what should we maybe think about buying? <laughs> if you want to spend the money. Okay, so this first piece, oh, I have been eyeballing it for a while. I think I actually saw this on a YouTube video. His name is Levi Kelly and he does all these um, Airbnb tours. Check him out if you haven't, just like as a, I really love his channel and, his, and the Airbnbs that he goes to are phenomenal. And I remember seeing this one and they had these beautiful like egg chairs, like around a fire pit. And I thought, oh my gosh, that would be so cozy. And I just, something about, for me, like just curling up into a chair. I just love it with a drink or whatever. And I just, I really love this piece. I found it really unique at the time. I do feel like we see quite a bit more of it now for whatever reason, probably because a lot of people saw it at some point like I did and went, that's an awesome chair. So this chair is such a good price. It's from Home Depot. It's called the Cayman Woven Egg Chair and it's only $398 Canadian. So even less if you're in the US. 
and it's got that rattan finish, which is on trend, but even though it's a trendy item, rattan is great for outside because it's super durable. So this is gonna last you a really long time. And it's a unique piece. I feel like if you put this outside, it becomes a statement piece and people are gonna be like, where did you get that chair? Because it is such a beautiful chair. What also I did look at is all of the cushions on this chair are, you know, weather resistant, spill and fade resistant. So they have all of those factors that I said to check already built in. So I'm gonna include all the links for all of the products that I talk about below. And just FYI, I'm not sponsored. So these are products that I actually want to buy, not products that I have to share to you guys. So this is literally like, I just love these things, okay? So I'm gonna link them below so that you can, you know, check them out if you want to. Okay, this one, oh my goodness. So I love modular sectionals. And I just like that it's like flexible and adaptable and changeable. And I feel like what's nice about modular is say you move from one space to another space, you can take it with you and maybe change the configuration if it doesn't necessarily work the way you had it in another space. So I love modular furniture to begin with, but this is for outside. And this is actually from Ikea, which I was blown away. It's modern but comfortable and has such a nice shape. I feel like it is very much something that we're seeing a lot of from aesthetics. That being said though, I feel like this will last you a very long time because A, it's modular, B, it's very durable, and C, it's not super like a certain look, like I feel like it could blend away or it could be a showpiece. It really depends on how you wanna style this one. What I loved, it is Ikea, but it starts at $320 for a chair. And I mean, as you build on, because it's modular, really the price ranges from that point. So the one that I really liked, which was a three piece couch was only $900. Like that's a really good price for outdoor furniture and that's Canadian again. So I think it might've been actually, it might have been on the US site. I'm not 100% sure. I should check that. What I loved about this piece was that they really thought about the usability of the piece, the flexibility of the piece, the cost of the piece, and the durability. I haven't been able to go and see it myself as of yet, but let me tell you, as soon as they open those doors, I am going to Ikea, and I actually want to go check this piece out because this piece looks phenomenal. And I am really excited and I definitely think it's worth the money because it's not that expensive. And it's, like I said, you can, it's, it's flexible. So another chair that I'm looking at, now I've mentioned one before from Ikea and I still really like that one, but then I saw this one at Home Depot and I really liked it as well. So it's kind of a smaller, you know, smaller scale than the egg chair, which I mean, I love the egg chairs. This, if you don't have that kind of space, is a really great option for you. So this one is called the Cayman Gray All-Weather Wicker Patio Club Chair. It's a long ass name. <laughs> um, and the price is for two, which I was like, oh my gosh, it's 348 Canadian. And that's for two, yeah, that's Canadian. So it's 348 for two of them, which I thought, okay, like that's 200 bucks a piece, not even. That's amazing. And they're a beautiful chair. I love that it still had that rattan look to it. It had that nice modern leg. And I actually really do love the sled base. It's great if you have people that are moving stuff around all the time because you don't have legs that will bend or do some weird things. Like it's a, it's really good for moving furniture around to have a sled base, to be honest. So I love that the cushions with this piece come in gray or white. So you have those options. And again, it's got that same durability that we want when we are purchasing a fabric. And I like that you could add a couple accent pillows and make it look a little different. Overall, it's a very versatile chair that I think it's nice if you have that front porch that you wanna put a couple chairs on, or if you have a smaller patio in the back or you could buy you know four of them and have like a instead of having a couch you could just have some lounge chairs like I love that this could be used on a patio on a deck on a you know if you live in an apartment and you just need a couple chairs on your balcony on your front porch you could even use these inside to be honest like these are just really cute looking chairs and they're like a nice scale which then 
you know, is just a little bit more flexible if you don't have a lot of space. And the price point is like bang on. Okay, so thinking about outdoor space, you might wanna do some outdoor entertaining and maybe have dinner outside. And maybe you wanna have that, you know, patio set that you have the chairs and the table. Now, oh, I love this patio set. Now this is under a thousand dollars, which blows my mind because these chairs that come with this patio set, I want these chairs for my inside island and on Wayfair for literally the exact same chair, but counter height, it's a thousand dollars per chair. But I could get this whole patio set with the same style of chair for under a thousand dollars. What? Can like somebody just like call, I don't know, Hampton Bay and get them to make it a little higher? It's <laughs> like, I love this, I love this set. So the set includes the four chairs and the table. And what I love is that the table has that concrete look to it. I feel like it's super on trend, but also in a way that it's not on trend where it will be out next year. Like this is very much that boho, natural, maybe not even bo, yeah, a little boho, a little boho, a little natural. Like we're really feeling that vibe right now with the natural materials and that's concretes and wickers and rattans and then just neutral color palette. And this hits all of that and, and the wood detail on the base. Oh my God, as a designer, I love it. I just feel like you can't really beat the price point of this piece and it's beautiful, like it's stunning. The back of the chair is just as stunning as the whole set. And I feel like you're often looking at a dining set from the back, so the fact that there's so much beauty on the chair itself, I mean, I would almost buy this and then just use the chair separately if you didn't want the table, like it's, it's worth it, honestly. And what I loved about this particular dining set is, yes, you can have bigger sets that seat, you know, six or more people, but I like this because it's more casual feeling. It's more of a casual dining environment. And I always feel like that's what always ends up happening. You'll have that dining table that's almost like more formal for outside, but people end up sitting in the more loungier furniture. So I feel like that kind of caters to having a bit of a more casual, loungy, almost like resort-like feeling to it. So I feel like you'd get a lot more use out of this dining set than you might or a more kind of formal dining set. But it really depends on your entertaining and like how you use your space. For me personally, I would use this definitely a ton and it's on my wish list. Like, come on, open up. <laughs> Cause I like to go sit in things and like feel it and you know, anyways. Okay, so before we get into the next piece, I gotta share with you, if you're ever in Ontario, if you're ever in Collingwood, go to this place called Scandinavian Spa. Trust me, it's worth it. It's a weekend away. You stay at a different hotel, but you, you can go to this spa and it's got um, the hot pool, like the hot pool, hot tubs, hot pools. They kind of like pools because they're, they're huge. And then cold, so you do like the cold and then you do the hot and then you go in the sauna and then you go and you can sit around a fire pit or place. I don't know what you want to call it. I guess it's like a fire pit. Anyways, it is honestly the most luxurious, relaxing experience. And as a spa, they do have all different services there. And I'm not plugging this for any other reason, except that it's a true gem. And when I went there, my husband and I were sitting around this amazing pyramid shaped fire pit thing. I'm going to call it a fire pit thing. Cause it's not really a fire pit. It's like, but it's wood burning. And I know everybody's always saying like, you know, get a gas one and, and, or a propane one, I guess. And it's great. I mean, if you have access to having a propane line or a gas line, or if you're even allowed to have, some places don't allow you to have these outdoor fire chimchia type things. Is that what it's called? Anyways, this one's wood burning. I love a wood burning fire. There's nothing that beats that crackling sound of the wood. And I mean, yes, I feel like there's 50 million ones that are shown that are gas or butane or all of those options, they're all great options. But as a splurge, if you have the space, if you've ever been to Scandinavian spa and kind of want to recreate some of that vibe in your own house, this fire pit is for you. It is from Wayfair. It's called the Pyramid Outdoor Fireplace. It's not cheap. I'm not going to sit here and say it's cheap. I think the smallest range, the smallest one is about $2,000 and then it ranges up to around the $6,000 mark for the really big ones. I 
really love this. I feel like if you have, this is my vision. I've got the egg chairs, maybe two egg chairs, and then this in between, or Muskoka chairs, because I mean, that's a classic too. Or the Muskoka chairs with this, and like you could have a whole group of people, like you have to have some space for this one. But I love a real fireplace. And I just feel like this to me is such a showstopper. It's a bit of an investment. Maybe you save somewhere else and then invest on this. But for an outdoor space, I feel like I really wanna be able to use my outdoor space even on a cold evening. And this really allows you to do that. So I know everybody talks about all the other styles of one. This one's a wood burning one. I think it's stunning. It's just, it's a real showstopper. And the only other ones I've ever seen that are like this are from Etsy or more custom made to order. So this is the only one that I personally found that's actually for sale, like where you can order it online and that will be linked below. And talking about how much I absolutely love this fireplace and the Scandinavian spa, if you guys are liking this video, I would really appreciate it if you consider hitting that like button for me. That just tells me that you guys are really liking the content that I'm sharing with you. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, so we're talked about fire pits. We've talked about casual seating and dining room chairs. Now, it's all about setting the mood, even for your outdoor space. So we've got the fire pit for warmth, but we also want to think about layering our lighting. And one of the ways I love to do that is through twinkle lights. Okay, they're not really called twinkle lights, but I call them twinkle lights, but string lights are great for outside and a great place to actually get, you know, really affordable outdoor lighting is from Ikea. What I love about the string lights is that these ones from Ikea are battery operated, so you don't need to have them plugged into something, which is just really good if you have them not, you know, it doesn't have to be right next to your house or, you know, right next to an outlet. You can actually have them, you know, somewhere on the trees or you can have them placed in different places in, in your yard, you know, whether it's on a tree or on a pergola thing. Oh, I love pergolas too. I didn't include one in my list, but you can buy them pretty much anywhere. So anyways, so I just love that you can, you have the flexibility to string these ones pretty much anywhere that you want. And they just add that extra little twinkle. And I love it. I love twinkle bites. Trust me. It drives my husband nuts. <laughs> okay. There's another item from Ikea for outdoor lighting that I think is fantastic and genius because it's something that's really easy to move around with you. And this is their, it's called Solvinden. Anyways, it's a solar light. And what I liked about it, I've seen this actually with Hayworth, which was one of my commercial vendors. So what I love about these is they're portable. It's just got this little handle on it. It charges from the sun because it's a solar light and you can move it wherever you want to sit. So what I love about it is, say you have an apartment with a balcony and you only have a few seats, but you want to sit outside. Maybe there's nowhere to add extra accent lighting, you know, without it being like a kind of bright overhead light. This is great because you can just put it wherever you want. It adds a little extra lighting to your space. And I like the way that the light actually shines out of it. It's a really beautiful, simple little piece that just adds that level of layering in that we talked about in the beginning, which is really important to like really give depth to your outdoor space. I also love the scale of this. Like it's not too big, it's not too small. You can put it on a table, you can put it on a floor. You can kind of move it around wherever you need it to go. So I really like this one. This is, I think, super, you know, creative. It looks really cute and it's like $24. So it's a really, really good price point. So when it comes to layering, one of the things that I really like for outside is adding in an outdoor area rug. I find it really helps ground the space and really helps add that extra, more like an interior living room space on your exterior. It just ha helps add a little bit of warmth to the space. And this one from Ikea, I really love it. It's that black and white. It's very on trend with the boldness of the color pattern. This is gonna wear really, really well. I have a couple Ikea ones already and they have done phenomenally well. They're easy to you know hose down and clean and that's great. And what I like about it is even though this one's really bold, if you have some more neutral pieces that you, you know, place on top, you can layer it in. It kind of gives that funky vibe and I really like that. Now, something I haven't talked about in this video, and there's a reason for it, is, you know, throw pillows and different outdoor accessories. I always find that I end up going to HomeSense and that's where I find a great, you know, 
few throw pillows that I can add to the collection. And I, and even the accessories, they have really, really great outdoor accessories and home goods would be the same or Target. I mean, you don't need to spend a fortune to get some of these really cool outdoor pieces to really add that extra level. And I do find taste change. So it's nice that, you know, you can go and get something that's like a nice price point and really usable and not everybody has it. Cause I find with HomeSense, like if you don't get it when you see it, it's probably gone. So that would be my little tip for getting all those little access extra accessory pieces for your outdoor space. If you guys enjoyed this video, I do highly recommend you check out my top 10 Ikea picks video. That one gets into a few more indoor items. It does have a really cool rattan chair that could be indoor or outdoor, but I do think you would really like that video. So definitely check that one out next. All right guys, until next time, bye.